Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler gush for Gideon in the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. As I said, this video will have spoilers in it, so if you have not read this book, I will link my spoiler free review on the screen. So this, like I said, my review was so unexpected because I had to stop reading this book last year because of my panic and anxiety that I was having last year. And this book having like the necromancy and stuff wasn't super bad for me last year, like it was kind of getting there. And then some of the possession stuff started happening with Harrow and Gideon like being able to do that. And I was like, I can't. But right now, properly medicated I'm fine with it but like back then it, middle of a flare I could not deal with that so I had to put it down but I was able to get through that totally fine this time and there was things at the end like some of the imagery at the end when everyone was fighting was like a little bit much for me it just was like a lot more because of like the intensity of it but otherwise this book was fine and I was I was totally okay with it and it was a wild ride a very fun ride so I want to kind of go into more of the like character stuff in this gush and kind of talk about all of them because I really liked a lot of the characters here I liked the setting like I mentioned my review I like the setting. I like the gothic mansion um, with all of like the really creepy experiments in the basement. Like that was all really cool and like creepy but like not too creepy. And the necromancy and like the world building and how every house has a different power is really cool. And I loved all of that stuff. So as far as our cast of characters, and I love that we have a list in the front that I can talk about. So Gideon and Harrow, like I talked about in my review a bit. I loved Gideon. Um, and I'll just cut to the chase with like the Gideon stuff. So I love Gideon. I love that like everyone really loved Gideon. Like there was a lot of people that like would like kind of flirt with Gideon and stuff between like the various houses, like the seventh and the third and stuff like, and then her and Harrow having like a thing, like their developing thing was so good. Like the kind of slow burn that I really enjoy. Slow burn that's like, are they, are they developing like a love thing? It's sort of like unlikely friends and allies. I love like guard and royal, which is kind of what they are in this scenario. Dynamics, really enjoyed that. And then at the end, when Gideon died, like when Gideon like kills herself, I'm just like, oh my God, to strengthen Harrow. Oh, but then she's like gonna still be like in her brain. Like she, like Harrow like absorbed her. Like, so can she come back? Can she come back? Um. I don't know. And that's what has me, if you watch my review, you'll see that like, I'm not sure if I want to continue, not because I'm mad that Gideon died or whatever, but I'm just like, I don't know if I want to read more now that like, that's not a thing. And I don't really necessarily want to read it with like Gideon stuck in her brain either. You know, like, I, I'm not sure I like that direction, but it was fine. Like this book as a whole was fine. Great. I really loved it. But like, I don't know how I feel about that. So if you read more of the series without giving spoilers, I want to tell me like, hey, what you think. Um, but I've heard some mixed things about the second book. So I'm not sure about my choice to continue or not. But I liked her and I like Harrow. I like Harrow as a character because Harrow is that like small but spunky like bitch, like ambitious, cunning bitch. And I love those characters. Like I say bitch like with like love. I'm like, you are a bitch. So yeah, I really actually kind of enjoy her, even though her and like Gideon, like she was awful to Gideon before, but like their dynamic as it grows, I enjoyed. I don't really have much to say about the second beyond them kind of acting like cops the whole time and being really obnoxious. The third, interesting. The whole dynamic where you figure out like who actually has power. Um, Ianthi is, I'm not sure if that's how you say her name, being like one of the bad guys, becoming a lector, absorbing Nibirius or whatever. And then the, tw the the creepy, like, that moment at the end of that chapter when the twins, like, she should have taken me. Oh my god, messed up. The fourth house with the teens, the horrible teens. Who would have thought that those two little obnoxious brats would have been people that you would feel affection for? Like, when they died horribly, horribly, I was like, oh my god. And then Gideon felt so bad and, like, they didn't even have to die because they shouldn't have even gone down there because it was all hero, like, trying to do, like, a political play poor kids. For a while there I thought they were the ones that were doing something but like the fact that they died like and like Jean Marie died like right when Gideon was like sleeping messed up. The fifth house the first set of murders obviously not much to say about them but like kind of oh Magnus you know like he dies and even Gideon was like he was nice to me. Oh. The sixth house aka my favorites Palamedes and Camilla loved them and that's another reason why I'm like he's dead I don't I don't want it. I loved him. Like, I loved him. I loved his, like, nerdiness and him and Camilla's bond. And then I was like, was there sort of, like, a love triangle? Like, was Camilla kind of in love with him, but he was in love with the seventh house? Huh? But, like, I just, I just love him. And, like, I love that he's 
super smart and sort of in this competition but he also seems to respect everybody else and like he was like I'll work with you Harold like stop being like a brat you know like I just really enjoyed him and I love her I love her fighting style Camilla I love like her as a guard like everything about them I adored so the fact that like they're well Camilla's still around right she made it but the fact that he's gone like really devastates me and the fact that like he didn't really get to kill her the the woman that was um the first housewoman or whatever Cytheria um the fact that he didn't really get to kill her makes me sad because I'm like you sacrificed yourself for like what um I mean I guess he did some damage that like mattered later but I'm like <laughs> no and then as far as the seventh house yeah Dulcina and Pro Prosilius or whatever that whole twist was so interesting. The fact that like he was just like a, a zombie the whole time and that she wasn't her, like she was she was gone. But like, again, Gideon was like into her, like the sixth house was into her, like, but she was, but she was like a, like the almost dead girl like the whole time, but she was actually like the lector. That whole thing was messed up, but like so interesting. And then the eighth house, I hate them. <laughs> um, I did like Colum a little bit towards the end when he was being like, you know, he stood up to like Silas and stuff, but Silas was a douche. He caused a lot of problems. And then like at the end, it just was like shitty, like what went down with them, you know, like Colum and like the way he died and Silas and whatever. Um, but like Silas kind of deserved that because he was a dick. But yeah, that's them. So then at the very end, like all the stuff that was happening with the battles there, I just was like, this is really intense. Like the, the lectors and like all of that. And then like, you know, the, the first house guy, what's his name even? Like the grand necromancer or whatever, the emperor. Um, just being like, yeah, <laughs> uh, come help at the, like, the end after, you know, like, Gideon's dead and absorbed and all of that. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go down this path. So let me know your thoughts. But those are all of my, like, thoughts for the most part. I mean, I'm trying to think of, like, some other little, like, scenes and stuff. Like I said, all the tests were really cool and, like, just the whole mystery and all that stuff was really cool. Um, but yeah, it's having the next book be something, like, totally different, I don't know if I'd be as into it. So definitely let me know your thoughts without giving me spoilers about if I should continue with the series or just leave this as its like own standalone thing. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.